welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. I feel like I'm going back a little old school with my painting. Um, because I was going through my uh, cabinets and realized I had bought eight containers of the Deco Art Satin Enamel in pure white. Which, it's been probably six months ago. This was all the rage cloud pours were um really popular they they're beautiful um and it was nearly impossible to get your hands on a container of this and now um it seems to be a little easier um so i've got quite the stash because i would buy them every time i saw them so i thought um i'll do some work with this if you've watched my channel for very long or if you go through my video feed you will know that I prefer milk paint to satin enamel. I just do. Um, but satin enamel is beautiful for cloud pores. So that's what I'm going to try to do tonight. Now, I don't ever just use straight satin enamel. I always mix it with a base color. And for those base colors, I try to use the flow acrylics. It just seems to work better. So I did mix this one part satin enamel to two part um flow acrylic in white and then I thinned it with four parts port medium um, so it is pretty thin but that's the mixture for that and I'll just show you if you can see the consistency it is it sits on top for about a second and not even a second and then it goes under so it does it disturbs the surface but it sinks pretty fast and the reason I thinned it so is because my milk paints work better if I thin them relatively thin and always when I worked with satin enamels I would leave them thicker and I didn't get quite the results I wanted so maybe this um, will give me the results I want all right my color palette is maybe questionable I don't know I mix the um, Alzerian Crimson Hue from Liquitex Basics with Deep Red from Artist Loft because I thought this was going to give me like a deeper color like almost a burgundy but it didn't it was a little brighter than I wanted so I put some of this in um, to deepen it I have this I'm all over the place I normally go with one brand but that's not happening tonight the Liquitex Professional Soft Body Acrylic in neutral gray five i found this on clearance at michael's for 84 cents and i just picked it up and i thought i would use it so that's what we're doing i have the artist loft brilliant blue which i have mixed with the artist loft black just a little bit of this to make a navy and i'll show you what that looks like um if you can see here so it's a really good navy color. Then I have the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. And this is in the color Sapphire. This is a really pretty blue. It's very bright. And then last but not least, I have the Artist Life Flow Acrylic in Silver. So, do you see what I mean by my color palette is everywhere? I'm, I was debating, like, do I want to use these, do I want to use these, or do I want to use my little beakers? And I think I want to use my little beakers. Um, I just like them. <laughs> I don't know why. I just feel like, I don't know, like a mad scientist or something when I'm pouring out of them. So, satin enamel cloud pours. You get that cloudy effect a little more whenever... You have a layer of the satin enamels in the bottom. Because um, that's what's going to come out in the center of your pour. So, I'm going to put that down. Then I'm going to put this silver in here. This is the silver. And I've lined my colors up in the um, order that I want to layer them so 
and I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this in. I have I have really really trying to be more aware of how much paint I'm mixing up. Um, so not to waste. Which you're not really wasting, I guess, but um, I've recently I have shied away from mixing my paints up and putting them in the squeezy containers just because um I've I've said this before paint consistencies make a world of difference um, depending on what type of pour you're gonna do and so to mix up some kind of generic amount of paint and try to get it to work for every type of technique um, it's just it doesn't work and I end up having to um, reformulate it which kind of defeats the purpose of mixing up that much in the first place so plus half the joy of this style of painting really comes from mixing up your your paints it's extremely therapeutic especially if you're a stressed out little individual like I am which I am a little less stressed tonight I turned in my uh, assignment my final assignment on my eight week block class um, tonight I actually finished a day early which makes me wonder like it's I'm kind of like did I miss something did I not do something properly you know like why did I finish early but then I remember I started working on this project the first day of the semester because um, I knew it was going to be considerable, so, no, I think I did okay. Um, I'm going to put down a layer of the satin enamel as a base coat. And I guess I'm just speaking gibberish and assuming that everyone who's watching my video is aware of my background. Um, I'm a grad student. I am majoring in... Economic development is my um, is what my um, focus is for my master's. I got my bachelor's in business administration, so um, my final project for this class was to create a strategic plan which if you don't if you're not familiar with economic development a strategic plan is basically like a five year a set of goals for five years or ten years or whatever um, so it was to create a strategic plan that um, was factual it, it had to be uh, created in a way that I could walk to the community leaders of the community that I did the plan on and say this is your strategic plan and they would be able to set it in motion and it would work so um, it's not theoretical it's um, it's literal and um, so that took a lot of research and a lot of effort um, but I've learned because I have three classes, which uh, might not sound like a lot to some people, but for grad students, three classes is a full schedule. Um, I've learned that I have to stick to a schedule 
and um, and I have to, to stay on task or I will get overwhelmed and um, fall behind quickly. So, I, I am confident in what I've created for my final plan. But we shall see. It takes about a week before I'll get my grade back. All right, so I'm going. I poured um, puddles of the satin enamel, and I'm going to pour into those puddles for no particular reason other than I do it with my milk paint. So I'm going to try it with this. I am doing a ring pour of sorts. Uh, <laughs> My disdain for ring pours is, should be well known at this point. Um, but this is loose. It's not like I'm trying to get a million tiny rings. But with satin enamels, this is kind of the technique that seems to lend itself best for cloud pours. So this is what we're going to go with. And if you can see, I'm going to end with a ton of that satin enamel mixture in the center. I forgot I put that gray in there and it was coming out and I'm like, what is making mud? Nothing's making mud. I put gray in it. Alrighty. Let's see. I am going to torch you guys if I even reach for a balloon just come through the camera or the screen and smack me I have Got to stop putting balloon rolls on everything. They're beautiful, but at some point. It just becomes ex excessive. This is a 16 by 20 canvas. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Oh, that was a lot of paint that just went off that side. And I did not mean to do that. It got too heavy. And I lost control. Guys, if you think you have to move your canvas around as excessively as I do, don't. You don't have to. It's just, um, I've mentioned it several times. I just have a thing about pouring into my left hand. And that's why I move the canvas around so much. This is why I hate rain pours. Because if I get one little tidbit on the canvas, and 
messes up the ring. Too much paint on the canvas. I can tell by the weight of it. I want to keep this. I want to keep this. And I want to keep this. So I'm going to try to pour straight like this. And see if I can pour off an even amount of all... So that I don't lose any particular part. I'm going to turn it back around. I know, I knew, I knew I had, I knew I put too much paint on it. Oh, it's okay. I'll make coasters. bring this over a little bit a little better now I will mention this because I know I'm doing a lot of I'm taking a lot of time with this if you use the Liquitex pour medium as your pour medium or as an additive to your pour medium, it will make your paint set faster. So, um, your time, your play time with the paint uh, is limited because when it starts setting up, it's not going to flow. There is a product from Liquitex that's a flow extender. And adding that will um, give you a little more time to work with your paint. So if you find yourself um, wanting to be able to work with your piece longer um but your paint is setting up too quickly either don't use the liquitex pour medium or add the flow extender um if you're not using the pour medium and you're still not having enough time try adding a flow extender there's different brands have different um, different brands offer flow extenders, so it doesn't have to be Liquitex. But you don't need a lot of flow extender. 
Well, what I've done is my four medium, I've, I make it by the gallon, and I have both the Liquitex four medium included in it and the flow extender. Um, and it just kind of balances it out. I have a normal time amount of time because I like I like the pouring medium I like the liquid text pouring medium but I don't like how fast it makes my paint set so it's kind of like finding the best of both worlds I guess You know, if someone could invent a method to, or a tool to make sure our corners got covered so we didn't have to mess up our pretty edges, that would be fantastic. Hmm. Well, I'm stepping back and looking at this. And I have to tell you guys, from this point of view... It looks very, um, it looks very much like outer space, uh, and as if you're looking at the surface of a planet, and I like it. It's not overly complicated, but I like it. This, that I was able to preserve this portion, I think, um, was fantastic. Did I get big old fluffy cells? No, I didn't. It was probably because I put too much paint on the surface, but I like what I did get. So, I'm, I've mixed up a good bit of the satin enamel. I'm just going to put it in a container and I will try again tomorrow night um but it is already 9 30 so um and i have to work in the morning so i'm going to leave it at this but i do like this and i think it's beautiful and i will keep it um so yeah anyway uh i will take you down and we will get some close up. I like the color combination. I just wish more of that red had come through. But from but you can see, I think it's very pretty. And that um, I'm not sure if it's picking up, but that metallic is like all through there and it's very shimmery. So, anyway. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope you have a good morning, night, evening, day, wherever you are. And I will speak to you all very soon. Bye!